Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these adorable bath bombs. They make really great gifts as well as just really nice treats to leave in your bathroom for your holiday guests. To get started, you're gonna need citric acid, Epsom salt, cornstarch, baking soda, coconut oil, food coloring, essential oils, some molds, and a whisk. In a big bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and combine my citric acid, followed by baking soda, and then my cornstarch, and last but not least, the Epsom salt. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my whisk and mix this all together until the mixture is evenly combined. After that, I'm gonna add my coconut oil, followed by my essential oils, and for this batch, I'm gonna be doing a vanilla cookie scented bath bomb. Now I'm gonna add my food coloring. I mixed it with just a tablespoon of water and you can add more or less color depending on what shade you want these to be. I'm making snowflakes so I'm using a little bit of blue. After I pour that in, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together really, really well. You wanna make sure that all of your ingredients are really nicely combined. This is gonna make sure that your bath bombs really hold together well. And as you can see, I'm just going crazy on the mixing until I get that really nice light powdery blue color. Now that my mixture is all combined, I'm gonna go ahead and start by pouring the mixture into my molds. I'm using these cute little snowflake molds that I found at Michael's. I believe they were only a two or three dollars each. I'm gonna take my spoon and press the mixture down really well into those molds. And you wanna start just a little bit at a time because as you pack these down, you're gonna to need to add more of the mixture and just kind of keep adding and then patting and adding and patting until they're completely full. Now I'm gonna take a spoon and tap on each mold so that the molds release the little bath bombs and put them onto a tray that I've just lined with some wrapping paper. By tapping it, it just kind of helps to gently release them and now I'm gonna set them aside to dry and then go ahead and use that mold to make the rest of the bath bombs. Next I'm gonna make some gingerbread men and I'm just replacing the blue food coloring with some brown. I added a little bit more brown at the last minute just to make them a little bit more of a cookie color. And now I'm going to pat them into my molds nice and tight. And these ones you wanna apply a lot of pressure because this mold was pretty big so there was several rounds of kind of adding and packing and here's what they look like completed. Now I'm moving on to making some little red stockings that are gonna be peppermint scented. I just added my red food coloring and now I'm going to mix it up until it is the perfect color. I'm gonna put all of my mixture into my molds once again and just pat everything down and keep adding and patting until they are completely packed solid. And as you can see, they turned out really cute. They even have a little rim on them, which I thought was a really nice little touch. You're gonna to wanna to set these aside to dry for at least 24 to 48 hours. The longer they dry, obviously, the better they're gonna to hold together. Now, once they're completely dry, I like to package them up cute. I found some really nice tins and little Chinese takeout cartons and holiday colors at Michael's for 99 cents each. So I'm just putting them in there and I'm gonna give them out as gifts for the Christmas season. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my DIY bath bomb video. I hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Tell me this is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. This is a little reindeer pillow that I picked up in the Target dollar section. They also had this really cute matching red and white striped blanket and together I thought they made a really